What's up guys, Alex here at GuitarForce.com So in today's lesson I'm going to take a look at a song called Spooky by Atlanta Rhythm Section And uh, this was kindly requested and supported by Dave So big thanks goes out to him for the support And uh, in this lesson we're going to take a look at the rhythm guitar parts only The uh, lesson on the solos, on the three solos uh, is going to be available on my Patreon page Or you can get the full lesson with the playthrough with the tabs and the backing track uh, at guitarforce.com. You can find the link in the description box down below. Also, I will put the link to the uh, full sort of cover playthrough of the song, which is going to be on my other channel. So if you're interested, check it out. Uh, for this lesson, we're going to be in standard tuning uh, for the sound I was using the VST plugin guitar rig, as usual. So now I'm going to show you the picture of the preset. And uh, while you're checking it out, I'm going to play you my low E string so you can tune up and play along with this lesson. Alright, so we're going to break up this lesson into parts. We're going to start off with the rhythm guitar and uh, we're going to break down the intro first. So there are two guitars being played on the intro. The first one is just playing these three notes. For a few times. And the second guitar is playing uh, this part, which is... So what we have here is the first guitar when it's playing this part, it stays on the B chord and then the second guitar is playing, even though I'm playing like a D triad here, the D major triad, it's a part of the B minor 7 chord. But the thing is they don't play the whole chord, they just play that part of the chord in particular the higher strings. So you can play essentially, and because they are also uh, related, the uh, relative major, relative minor, so the D major is a part of the, uh, is, is the same as B minor. So they are uh, related. So you can play just the triad, or you can play the B minor 7 chord, even though on the record, on the um, on the studio record you can hear that it's just uh, um, playing the uh, triad predominantly. But you can play the whole chord if you want to. And you can combine both of the guitars, um, although it's not going to sound really good because you need that note to ring out while the triad is being played a staccato way, meaning, you know, the very short um, hits of the chord and also we play the chord for five times and when you play the fifth time the the second guitar or the first guitar starts playing so the open uh, string the open A string so it's going to be kind of a little bit harder to play both of the guitars at the same time you can do it you can still do it but if you um, if you want to but uh, really it's just like playing two guitars separately <laughs> You can do it like that, but I would suggest playing, um, you know, the separate parts on separate guitars. Okay, so that's the triad here, the D major triad or the B minor 7 chord uh, is the intro of the uh, first part of the rhythm guitar. Then we go into the um, main part of the song, uh, which is being played also during the verses. So I'm going to play it through first and then we're going to break it down. So it goes like this. All 
Okay, so here we have this rhythm section which is being played between two chords. So the first one is E minor 7 and the second is A7-13 at 13 or A13. Now again, um, you will see in the tablature that I've uh, written out the uh, roots of the notes in parentheses and that is uh, because predominantly you can hear the triads being played uh, on the rhythm guitar and mainly kind of you know just three strings so this part of the E minor 7 chord and the 13 A13 is this so you can play with the with the root notes if you want to to give it a little bit more of a thicker sound but we have the bass and if you play this kind of just the triads it sounds a little bit more like a funk guitar you know just just uh, the uh, right amount of notes. So, um, rhythmically wise, it's pretty straight, straightforward. So you can hear that we have the first is the muted strings, or you know uh, the rest, and then also you know he's using that technique where he's just playing the chord and then stops. So kind of like a staccato, funky rhythm, or you can let it ring out. Although it sounds much better with the staccato. So, so sometimes you can hit the occasionally the uh, the bass note, and that that's totally fine. So we play this part uh, in the intro for two times, both of the chords, and then we get into the verse. And we play this rhythmical figure for four times. And then we have a transitioning part. So I'm going to play through the transitioning part and then we're going to break it down. So it goes like this. Okay, so the transitioning part goes like this. We play the E minor 7 chord. Again, the first bar is exactly the same as we did in the first part. So we have... But then we continue staying on the chord. We hit it two more times. Little rest and then hit the chord, let it ring out. And then we go for the A13. We hit it once. We have a, a stop, a break there. And then we have... So this is um, the E diminished chord. So we hit it twice. Again, you can leave out the root note and just play the triad like that. Uh, or you can include the uh, root note as well if you want to. Let it ring out and then we go back to the uh, beginning of the riff. So again, we play. So that's the first time and then second time. We play the E minor 7 and then we go back to the beginning. So we play this triad, the D, D major or the B minor 7. Again, staccato meaning uh, quick hits of the chord with the rests in between, uh, just like we did in the intro. And then we go back to beginning of the, uh, of the rhythmical figure in the verse. So that's pretty much it for the verse. Now, just uh, once I'm gonna play the whole, the whole chord progression so you can hear how it goes. Uh, and then we move on to the next part. So it goes like this. So that was chord progression for verses number one and two. 
After that we go into first solo, but before we go into the first solo there is a, a modulation happening. So now instead of, we've, we've been in E minor 7 here, going to uh, A13. Now everything shifts up just a half step, so instead of E we go to F. And um, by the end of the uh, chord progression for verses, uh, for the second verse, when we finish it off with the B minor 7 triad, now we do the same but we move up half a step. So we go to C minor 7. And we play first that part. And then the rest is uh, being played half a step up. So now in F uh, minor 7. So exact same rhythm. everything up uh, half a step. Um, so I'm not gonna get into explaining here. It's exactly the same thing as we did with the verses number one and two. We just simply shift everything up half a step. Um, so and also the chord progression goes uh, the same way as we did for verses number one and two. Uh, during the uh, first solo we play this chord progression and then um, getting into the uh, verse number three uh, we just stay on the F minus seven and uh, B flat 13. Um, the chord progression is exactly the same however on the uh, on the third verse in the beginning the first three times when we play the chord progression this part actually four times we play a little funky rhythm here and it changes so first I'm gonna play through then we're gonna break it down so it goes like this So here we have this little funky uh, rhythm part and um, the best way of course is just to listen carefully and try to mimic. I'm gonna play in just a moment uh, very slowly this part. I just to want uh, to explain a couple of things. So first of all um, again we're playing triads but also you can add the higher string, the high E part of the chord when playing these uh, triads. So for the E it's gonna be this part and uh, the 8th fret on the high E and for the B flat 13 we have the 6th fret on the high E. It just brings a little bit more uh, of the chord for this funky uh, rhythm. Um, all right, so now let's break it up into uh, parts. So the first part, the very first part, when we have the F minus seven chord, it starts off with a... So it's just a, a quarter note. Then we have two sixteenth notes. And then we have a muted strings there and playing the chord again. And then when we get to the uh, B flat uh, 13, we have so we play the muted strings, then twice the chord, then we have so it's muted strings, up stroke, muted strings, and then again you can play down stroke or up stroke. So like that. And then when we get to the F um, minus 7 chord, we do this exact same way as we did for the uh, B flat 13. So it just takes a little bit of practice and then it's just uh, like a second nature. So slowly it's gonna be like this.
So we play this funky rhythm for four times and then we go to the transitioning part and we just play exact same way, exact, uh, exactly same rhythmical uh, pattern that we played before. So we have So now, um, just to mention the um, diminished chord we've played before when we were in E, it's E, but now it becomes the F diminished chord. Um, just, to, just to make a note here. And then uh, the rest exactly the same, so... Okay, so that's the part for the uh, verse number three. Also, we play exact same pattern with the funky rhythm uh, during guitar solo number three. So just keep that in mind. Um, all right, so that's pretty much it for the uh, ryth rhythm guitar uh, for this song. The outro part we just play uh, just like we did in the intro, but we play on the C, sh uh, C minor seven chord. So we have. So four bar, bars of these, four times um, C minor 7 chord, and that's how we end the song for the rhythm guitar. Alright guys, so that was it for this part. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to continue learning the solos, check out the links in the description box down below. Please comment, share, subscribe if you are new to my channel. Don't forget to visit guitarforce.com for more guitar lessons. In the meantime, I'll see you again. Take it easy and as always, let the force be with you.